आसमान में उड़ रही हूँ आप सबके आगमन से जो मिली खुशी उसमें नए भावों से मैं जुड़ रही हूँ थैंक यू फॉर अटेंडिंग फंक्शन डॉक्टर सुदर्शन जी पोइट्री बुक लेयर्स ऑफ फ्लिकरिंग लाइट देन केम दी नॉवल कैन आई हैव दिस चांस एंड दिस इज अ शॉर्ट स्टोरी कलेक्शन सिंस दिस कंटेन स्टोरीज फोर्टीन स्टोरीज बेस्ड ऑन द थीम ऑफ वुमेन एंड वेरियस शेड्स आई वुड लाइक टू बिगिन विद अ स्मॉल पोएम रिटर्न बाई मी इन हिंदी नाउ मैं सिर्फ रूप हूं ना मैं सिर्फ जवानी हूं ना मैं सिर्फ रूप हूं ना मैं सिर्फ जवानी हूं जरा गौर से देखो मुझे मैं तो पूरी की पूरी कहानी हूँ ना मैं सिर्फ लावन्या हूँ ना मैं सिर्फ यौवन हूँ ना मैं सिर्फ लावन्या हूँ ना मैं सिर्फ यौवन हूँ जरा प्रेम से देखो मुझे मैं तो अपने आप में जीवन हूँ ना करो मेरी तुलना सिर्फ मेरी शारीरिक खूबसूरती से ना करो मेरी तुलना सिर्फ मेरी शारीरिक खूबसूरती से मेरे प्रकाश का तेज है मेरे अंतर्मन की ज्योति से बना सको तो मुझे बना लो अपना साथी बना सको तो मुझे बना लो अपना साथी तुम्हारी बन जाऊंगी मैं जैसी दिए की होती है बाती थैंक यू सो मच आई लाइक टू रीड फ्रॉम द स्टोरी द हाइटस विच इज अ स्टोरी रिगार्डिंग रेशियल अटैक्स इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया विच है टेकन प्लेस अराउंड टू ईयर्स बैक Edward was nervous as well as furious. He immediately took out his car and headed towards her house. Had she decided to meet any of her friends? Had she decided to do a little shopping before the marriage? Was she caught in a traffic jam? He could not see her familiar face anywhere on the way. Her brother Devesh also informed him that he could not trace Dia. While he was wondering what he should do next, Finally, there was a call from Dia's number. He was overjoyed. Even before she, he could, uh, she could speak, he yelled, "Dia, what is this? Where the hell are you? I've been searching you all over like mad." And somebody silenced him on the phone before he could complete the sentence. He heard an authoritative voice say, "Inspector Thomas here. The girl Dia has been badly hurt, and we have got her admitted to the Concord Hospital." we saw your messages on her mobile and decided to call you can you come down immediately edward was numb with shock for a moment he felt helpless however recovering from the jolt he informed devesh and both of them rushed to the hospital edward looked at dia in disbelief as he peeked through the glass partition she lay unconscious in her sari the same red sari which edward had requested her to wear but her body was also red red with blood all over the doctors were trying to revive her he wanted to go and hold her in her arm in his arms but sadly no one was allowed inside the inspector who had been available right from the time he had brought her to the hospital patted his back as he said congrats for winning the match at work i believe you love the girl she was attacked by some fellows while we are still trying to nab the culprits and ascertain the cause It is being said that it was a racial attack. Please have patience and help us catch the culprits. I know it hurts, but we are trying our best. Edward could hear no further. He sat down on the floor and started sobbing loudly. The racial attacks, the damn racial attacks. Why had he asked her to wear the damn sari? Maybe if he had not asked her to wear it, things would be different. He glanced at Dia once again. So in no sense she looked. What did those bastards get by attacking her? Somebody came and patted his shoulder. It was the doctor. He informed him, Edward, Dia is alive, but she is in a coma. The future of such patients cannot be predicted. I would have liked to help you, but I have limitations. After all, I am not God. In such cases, sometimes the patient comes back to life almost instantaneously. 
and sometimes it takes days and months. Edward interrupted him. And sometimes the patient never comes back to life, isn't it? The doctor lowered his head as he said, yes, in some cases the patient never normalizes. We can only pray. Thank you, friends.